What's going on everybody? I hope you're having a good evening. Um, I know I am, even though it's Sunday evening and it's like the dawn of the end of the world because tomorrow's Monday morning, which means back to work. But, you know, such is life. That's uh, that's kind of the way it goes and that's just something we got to deal with. But that being said, I just wanted to jump in and do a quick video here tonight. Um, I wanted to add on, I've done one video already uh, on Vim Tips and I just thought maybe I would throw one of these out every once in a while for uh, those of you who maybe aren't real familiar with Vim or maybe are real familiar with Vim but are always looking for kind of cool new things um, or just trying to brush up. Um, that being said, again, like I've said a hundred times, I am not an expert in Vim. I am a technically a novice in Vim. Um, I can get myself in trouble in it. I can do enough to do basic editing and writing and stuff like that, but I am by no means an expert. Um, I still use the uh, arrow keys as opposed to H, J, K, and L. Um, I, a lot of time I do use the H, J, K, and L keys occasionally, but um, that being said, even when I use that stuff, people like to comment on the fact that there's way more efficient ways to move around than I do on screen. But again, like I've said before, my machine, I'll use it how I want. <laughs> so um, no offense, but uh, that's just the way it is. Um, that being said, I just thought I'd show you a couple new uh, uh, Vim commands uh, that I have come to learn. Um, I want to try, it's not going to be perfect and it's not going to happen every time, but I want to try to do videos on these commands that aren't your typical, okay, when you look up Vim commands on Google or on YouTube or whatever, you know, you get the same grouping of commands it seems like it seems like you can find the same ones over and over and over which is great because those are the ones that people are looking for those are the ones that are pe that people are struggling with when they're beginners at vim and everything um, but I know there's times that I've wanted to use some of these commands and I didn't know about them and it took me a while to find them or it was you know something that I just stumbled across that I realized wow I'm not going to use that very often but when I do need it it's really going to come in handy so that being said let's just go ahead and jump into it we're going to launch a terminal here, we're going to clear the screen, and then we're going to zoom in. I'm going to do an ls, and you can see I've got this file right here called tips. We're going to vim into tips. And you can see in there I've just written this little poem, um, and I apologize, I'm not going to win any <laughs> any awards for my poetry. Um, I just hammered this out real quick and uh, figured it would be something we can hack on and just have a little fun with. Um, it just says there once was a man named Sue. He hated his name and knew not what to do. He changed it to Chuck, thought he'd have better luck, but was immediately hit by a truck. So, so um, just uh, hammer that out real quick so we could have something to play around with, a little bit of text to, to, to goof around with and just kind of see what happens. So that being said, I wrote this a while ago, um, so it's been up for a bit. Uh, so what we're going to do is, the first thing is, this file isn't affected by this, but there's so many times I've been in my root directory and like in the etc directory or something, and I've been editing like a grub file or something like that. And after I'm done doing all my work, I realize, oh crap, I used vim to go in here and not sudo sudo e. Um, you know, I didn't I didn't have root privilege when I entered this file to uh, edit it, and so now all these changes I've made, I have to go back in and redo and that can be such a headache. Well, there is a solution for that. Well, there's several solutions for that, but here I'm gonna show you one of them. Um, and this is actually pretty cool. So say you came in here and you changed this and you deleted a line and you did something, um, and then you realized, oh shoot, this is a uh, protected file and I didn't enter it with root privilege. Well, the way you'd get around that is if you type in your colon and then do W like you're gonna write, but then hit space and hit your exclamation point and do sudo, and then hit space again and do T and then percent and hit enter that is going to save the ask you for your password so you have to be in the wheel group or the sudoers group and then you can punch in your password and you hit enter um, it says it has changed and the buffer was changed in Vim as well see uh, help W12 for more info but we can just do O and we hit enter and now it has been saved um, so nice and easy um, it is you know not a lot to remember but you know you gotta remember okay I gotta type W exclamation point sudo space T space percent so while that isn't too terribly hard to remember what I've done is if we go over to another workspace here and let's go ahead and edit my Vim directory my VimRC and we'll zoom in things around uh, 30 lines down uh, nope more than that so we'll do another 15 uh, almost there, another five, 
Yeah, we're just going to use the arrow keys like people get mad at me about. Um, if you can see right here, um, I have the C map W bang bang, and that is set to W exclamation point pseudo T percent. So basically, I have this set up in my VimRC to where if I do this and I just hit colon W bang bang real quick, it automatically pops it out, and I don't have to worry about um, typing that all that out. Again, it's not a lot, but uh, W bang bang is so much easier to remember than W uh, bang sudo space T space percent. So that being said, so now anytime I go in and I enter a root directory or a root file and I start editing something, if I forgot to give myself uh, login or uh, go into the file with uh, root privilege, then I can still make my changes and save them without any issues. So that being said, that's the first one I wanted to cover. So let's go ahead and escape that. Now, I wrote this, uh, um, I don't know, earlier this afternoon, um, but I haven't really done a whole lot to it, uh, but I did do some changes here and there, and I deleted that line just a minute ago, obviously. Well, there's a cool thing you can do in Vim, and it is the earlier and later command. So basically, what we can do is, if we wanna jump back to, say, 15 minutes ago, what the, what the uh, file looked like 15 minutes ago, if we hit colon, and then we do earlier, and we do space and say we want, let's just do five minutes, five minutes, and we hit enter, you can see that line comes back. Um, if I do, let's see if it saved any of the other stuff I was messing with. Earlier space, 15, uh, yep, there we go. See, I hadn't written it all out at that point, and that's what the file looked like 15 minutes ago. Now, along with that, you can also do colon later, do space, do 15M, and now we have it back to what it is now. And again, if we do colon and do earlier, space five minutes and hit enter, now we're back to the original file. So earlier and later, with the selected amount of time, you can jump around in your file to certain times. And so say you uh, had a file written out and you go in and you start changing things and you realize, oh crap, I don't wanna change that. Um, you can always always exit without saving or whatever but you can um, if you've saved and during your changes and you know you've only been in the file for a certain amount of time um, you can jump backwards and um, go back to what the file was at an earlier point in time or you can jump forward to how the file was a later in a later point in time so those are two pretty cool uh, commands as well uh, the later and earlier command um, another thing I wanted to show you is say you're in editing a file and it's like okay do 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 I'm typing away I want to do something and you realize shoot I need to run another command in my terminal but you don't want to open another window or for whatever reason um, you can also do if you do colon and then you do bang or exclamation point and then type in say you want to run date you run date and now we're back out on our terminal and it shows right here it says no write since last change it means it hasn't changed the file and then we've got the date shown up here and we're okay we saw the output of that command we hit enter and now we're back into our file um, so say we wanted to do something along the lines of um, uptime so we do colon bang uptime we hit enter okay we've been up for that long okay we're good and then we go back in and we do our work so again that one is colon and then bang and then whatever command it is you want to run in the terminal and that just pops you out of the out of vim real quick runs your command you can get your output from your command and then jump right back into the terminal now that being said what if i want to run a command and add the output of that command to the file i'm editing like say i'm up here and i want to put a date timestamp on this so i could just go like this i am here and i just go that and i do the same thing run the colon or excuse me i do the um uh, colon and then I hit period and then I do the exclamation point then we hit a space and we type in date and we hit enter and now we have the date added onto that line let's undo that and let's try that again so say I want to add the uptime there then I would do colon period bang space uptime we hit enter and now I have the uptime added into that file so you can do all kinds of stuff with that you can run a command and put put the output right into the file you're you're running and uh, um, save you the time of typing all that out. So pretty cool, just a couple little tricks there I thought I'd tell you about again. That is we have, um, when you enter a file without using sudo privilege, you can do colon and then w space exclamation point, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, sudo t percent 
like that. And again, I have that set to, if I do exclamation point W, bang, bang, that automatically types it out for me. So that was right here in my uh, .vimrc. Um, so that was the first one. We had the earlier, so we could do earlier five minutes, and we could do, oops, later five minutes, and hit enter. So the earlier and later commands, so you can move around to different times in your file of um, you know, what was actually in there at those certain times. Um, so you can jump back and forth in time, kind of like, uh, I, I like to call that the, the DeLorean command, but <laughs> don't tell anybody. Uh, you young guys might not get that, but uh, I know some of you older farts like me will. <laughs> so that's my DeLorean command. And then we have the colon uh, bang and then command to actually jump out of the file to run the output, run and get the output of a command and then jump back in. And then we have the colon period bang command to actually add the output of the command to the file we're in. So just a few things that, uh, like I said, they're not gonna be real commonly used outside of the first one. The first one I use all the time because I am really good about entering a file without having uh, pseudo privilege when I do it. So um, that one saves me a ton of time because I do that all the time. But the other one's not very common that you're gonna use them maybe, but actually really handy if you do come across ever needing them. So that being said, I hope you find these tips uh, useful and I hope you uh, actually uh, can enjoy using Vim a little more if you know stuff like this. And so I'll just keep, um, as I find this stuff, you know, I'll keep plugging along and putting this stuff out there. So um, keep watching the channel and uh, you'll you'll see these come up every once in a while. And yeah, so if you find this uh, helpful and useful, great. I hope you uh, have a great rest of your weekend, what's left of it, and enjoy your work week this week and stay safe. God bless.